Hi all crochet lovers. This is a very interesting crochet fill that I came across. Crochet fills are stitches that you use in between motifs to cover your garment. So uh, these are generally used in Irish crochet. To start this, I will start with a chain of 25 for a repeat of three patterns. Each pattern will have nine stitches. So we will need to have nine stitches in the beginning and plus eight stitches for every repeat of the pattern. For row one, make a chain of three. In the fourth stitch, do two double crochets without pulling through. That's the first double crochet. And in the same stitch, do another double crochet. Now pull through and make a chain of two. The first chain was to secure the double crochets. Now skip seven stitches. In the eighth stitch, do two double crochets without pulling through. Now secure these three loops by one chain and now make a chain of three. Slip this chain into the same stitch. Now make a chain of seven. Skip seven stitches and slip this chain into the eighth stitch. We'll start the petals again. Make a chain of three. In the same stitch, do two double crochets without pulling through. This is going to form our petal one. Now secure this and make a chain of two. In the last stitch, do two double crochets without pulling through. We have actually skipped seven stitches here. Secure the three loops. Make a chain of three. This is the second petal of the flower. And in the same stitch, do a slip stitch. So we completed two petals in the previous row. Now for the height we are making a chain of five. We're going to do petal three now. In the we have three chains here. In the first chain where we secured the three DCs. We're going to have two double crochets without pulling through. Secure this and make a chain of three. In the same stitch of petal one, slip this chain. Now make a chain of one and slip into the chain which you made for securing petal two. Now make a chain of three. Go into the same stitch and do two double crochets without pulling through. Secure it and make a chain of four. In this chain space, this was the chain seven that you made in the previous row, make three double crochets by pulling through all the stitches. So we are not holding any double crochets here. That was one full double crochet. This is the second full double crochet. And now we're making the third full double crochet. Make a chain of three. 
Now move on to make the next petals. In the first chain, which was made to secure the petal one, make two double crochets without pulling through. Secure it and make a chain of three. Slip it into the same stitch. Make a chain of one. Go to the next petal. In this chain, slip the stitch. Make a chain of three. Now make two double crochets without pulling through in the same stitch. Secure it. Make a chain of one. Now have the yarn over four times. Go into the last stitch, which is the last stitch of the petal two. And pull through one by one you will have five stitches. So that completes the flower which has four petals. For row three, make a chain of seven. Slip it at the end of the second petal. After you secured the petal, you started making three chains. In the first chain, you will slip this chain of seven. Now we'll make another flower here. So make a chain of three, go into the same stitch and do two double crochets without pulling through. In this row, we'll make two petals which will be the lower half of the flower. Secure the petal. Make a chain of two. And go into the next petal, which is the petal one of the next flower. The chain after securing the double crochets, go into that chain and have two double crochets without pulling through there. Have a chain of three and slip this chain into the same stitch. Now make a chain of seven. And slip it into the first chain after the petal. For row 4, make a chain of 7, now make 3 double crochets into the chain space, chain of three. Now we'll make the rest of the petals. Go into the chain where we had secured the double crochets. Make two double crochets in that chain and secure it. Now make a chain of three and slip it. Chain 1. Go to the next chain where we secured the petal and slip the stitch. Now make a chain of 3 and make 2 double crochets in the same stitch.
çekiyorum. And make a chain of four. In this chain space, make three double crochets. Chain of three. And have the yarn four times over your hook. Go into this space, rejoin the petal, and pull through one by one. To continue this pattern, you will have to repeat rows 1 to 4. You'll make the flower here and you'll make chain 7 here and then again a flower here. Thank you for watching.